Living on a golf course sounds serene, but some Aurora neighbors tell us it's more trouble than it's worth. An Aurora woman tells Contact 7 golf balls are crashing into her home more and more frequently. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez went to the Saddle Rock Golf Club to see for himself. And Lance, one neighbor tells you it's getting expensive. Carmen Molech told me that she has spent nearly $7,000 to replace windows. There are numerous divots on her siding and garage doors that haven't been repaired yet. When she first moved in 18 years ago, she said there were few problems, but more and more recently, her house taking a pounding. It came down, hit one car, bounced over, and hit the other car. Do you find golf balls in your yard? Oh, yeah, yeah. Christine Fulham has seen several golf balls land on the street in front of her home. You can see a lot of the golf balls. She's heard several hit the side of her house or the plexiglass covering her windows. You hear the big bang and then the plexiglass makes a whole different sound so you can tell. I think we all kind of get used to it. <laughs> that one was $375. Her neighbor, Carmen Molech. This window here was broken two times. Is getting fed up with all the golf balls damaging her stucco siding. And it came right through the bottom window. Windows, frames and garage doors. I understand the risk living on a golf course. However, I expect a golfer to come up to my house and say, listen, I just broke the window. How much is it? She says that's only happened once in 18 years. Most of the time, when she goes out to speak to them after hearing a hit or seeing damage, it doesn't end well. Name calling, basically telling me, well, you live on the golf course. To your own risk. Some neighbors are sympathetic to Molach, others less so. I mean, if you move into a golf course and then if you're upset about the golf balls, you probably should have thought about that before you signed the agreement. If you're playing from the blue tees, you got to hit it about 280 with the draw. Neighbor Bruce Adams says there's a risk to living on a course, but also a responsibility for playing on one. Played at a golf course where it went into a road and it bounced and hit a windshield and broke it. And I went over there and I'm like, oh. <laughs> My bad. He says it's a gentleman's sport and you should play by the rules. It's on you. You can cheat or you can be ethical and just do the right thing. Now, the Saddle Rock Golf Course is a city-owned course in Aurora. I asked about Ms. Molich's complaint. A city spokesman says the damage is an issue between the golfer and the other party. He said they would hope that golfers would step up and make sure they follow through if they cause any damage.